were yeah. from skits that like yeah. we transitioned to the stage, and a few of them had some issues. But now, hey man, I gotta respect this damn stage. Oh and no, I, no, they they came in. And they'll say, stuff. hey man, I, man, this is who. But they got it. Yeah, you know, like you talking about the country Wayne. Look at Netflix, dude. He got it. I mean, yeah. Well, the Netflix special. Um, Did you watch it? I'm saying, y'all watch it. I mean, it's comedy, but it's it's subjective. Why why do I have to say he was okay on Netflix or he was okay on the stage? Why why do it matter where he was at? If you liked his comedy, you liked it. If yeah. you don't, you don't. Everybody ain't gonna like me. It's just what it is. That come with doing comedy. So us as comedians want to be in his position as the Netflix or the. You know, these showtimes, all these different specials, you want to be where he's at. To say if you like this comedy or not, that's your opinion. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Uh, Bernie Mac was joking with you, but there's a lot of guys that come on here, since I'm in the comedian world now, that tells uh, me the story of how some of the comedians will tell them before they go out there, or hey man, uh, don't use these jokes or that joke. Yes. Has that happened to you before? Never. never. Knock on wood. That's never. I've heard the stories. Really? Never. Never had mm -hmm. that. Never but yours is down. different too, though. You different, man. Yeah, and I, I, I thank you. I, I hear that a lot. That no, I am it, different. Nobody you know? can do what you do, as far as the way you do it. You yes, know? and the delivery. Of course, and you the delivery. But the way you it, that that uh, Bernie Mac impression is it's on it's on five, man. <laughs> yeah, and I've done it before, man. So a couple of my skits. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I I, I do it sometimes, most of the time. But but starting um, out, did you ever have to? Um, I'm not gonna say steal, but use somebody else's jokes mm -mm. In, in the beginning. No, because, because I know a lot of people that you, do that. Yeah, that that I think they do it. Don't know no better, you know. Mm. But I never had the urge. Of, well, let me try to. Because I know people in the herd. If I'm if I'm doing a joke and I know that I'm stealing it from somebody that's big, people that's that's coming to comedy shows are comedy fans, obviously. So mm -hmm. you're going to hear that. But now I, have, I never had the urge to steal no jokes to, to try to get laughs. Have anybody ever stole your jokes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm at the show. I can hear you. At least wait till I go to the bathroom. Oh, you they know, do it at your same show. They've done it before. Show? Not saying a whole lot of times, but it, it, yeah, it, it, it happened. Did you ever have to address anybody yes. on it? You do. Yes. You, respectfully so because I any, think sometimes when people do that giving them credit they probably stole it and had it for so long they forgot they stole it <laughs> and probably forgot they where they heard it from you might not even see me on stage somebody else probably stole it and you got it and pulled it and that happens you didn't got the joke so long till you don't even know where you got it from so I give people credit on that I don't Wow. I don't know but yeah you address it hey man because when I went to the person hey man you know I mean he did it verbatim mm. so it wasn't no switching it up you had to hear that from me uh, some, there's no way you wrote that what did he say he just said man I, you know nothing babe. I'm, what, I mean what can you say he could, so he, I had to actually send him footage okay and say hey this is YouTube like bro this is I was in Houston Improv this is the same joke and it stayed in time everything, everything. he said oh okay well my bad but, I'll take it out my... Oh, you don't say. You won't take it out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that, you know. Say, yeah, so. man. That's crazy. Yeah. So I, I want to ask you about, like, you know, today's time. You came in up in a time when <clears throat> you had to hit it, boots on the ground, flowers. You just yes. explained all that. Emotion, yeah. and, and, and it was a different time than today. To, in today's society, you have the Desi Banks, the Funny Marcos, the... Uh, cheating ass Myrons in the country Wayne's just that they come up off of the internet a base. whole different way okay exactly. and, and and but they graduate into doing on stage comedy yes but they start off doing skits yeah. like um, when you look at those two worlds like how do you look at their comedy versus the way that you guys started out doing it to me comedy is comedy no matter how you start off if you can deliver on that stage and you can put out you know, some good quality work and people like your content, they like what you're doing, it, it, you know, it is what it is. Certain comedians have issues with it because how they went about it. It's a tool that we all can use. They just took advantage of it and maximized the opportunity. Now, from what I heard, a few of them had, a, you know, a stumble with the transition from doing skits to the stage. No, they do. They do. Yes, they have, and they'll tell you. They do. And you have to respect the craft. I didn't come up doing the skits and straight on the stage. That's all I know. But with these guys, they maximize the opportunity to gain a fan base, which is smart. Now I'm going to transition to the stage. I'm going to eventually get it. Y'all going to be patient with me. I'm going to get it. And a lot of these guys got it now. So mm -hmm. I look at it like, hey, I'll knock your hustle. Just yeah. respect the craft and know that it's just not easy. When we talked to uh, Alex Thomas, he said that he was he understood that they do their skits, but 
being funny for five minutes is not being funny for a whole set. Right. Mm -hmm. And exactly. the, the comedian, Al, you know Alex Thomas. Yeah, too? I just did a show with him at the Improv. Yeah, and he he was yeah. just he he said that, but it wasn't it wasn't in no demeanor way. He was just saying if you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to bring it. And you got to work at it. Yeah, you got to work this at is it. Something for sure. new to you too. You yeah, know, you coming yeah. from skits? Like yeah, transitioning to the stage, and a few of them had some issues, but now, hey man, I got to respect this damn stage. Oh and no, I, no, they they came in. And they'll say, stuff. hey man, I, man, this is whoo, but they got it. Yeah, you know, like you talking about the country Wayne. Look at Netflix, dude. He got it. I mean, yeah. Well, the Netflix special. Um, Did you watch it? I'm saying, y'all watch it. I mean, it's comedy, but it's it's subjective. Why why do I have to say? He was okay on Netflix, or he was okay on the stage. Why? Why do it matter where he was at? If you liked his comedy, you liked it. If yeah. you don't, you don't. Everybody ain't gonna like me. It's just what it is. That come with doing comedy. So, us as comedians want to be in his position as the Netflix or the you know these Showtimes, all these different specials. You want to be where he's at to say if you liked his comedy or not. That's your opinion. I went to uh, his show in Houston, and he he fills that room up. Them people come and in. He scene. has a fan base. It was like thirty six asses in a seat. Thirty six hundred seats filled. <laughs> At the end bottom. of the day, it's a, this is a business. Yeah. yeah, asses in the seats. That's what it's about. People saying it. You know, he ain't funny. Ain't about the funny when it comes to this. It's about the money. So he's funny enough money. to get the money. He to got them right. And you can't not. How can, how can you knock the hustle? That's Me real. being as a comedian, he's a he's a brother, a frat. He, you know, we consider fraternity in this. We together. I'm gonna uplift you. However you got there, you there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you took twenty or thirty or six thirty five. You got to the same destination. You yeah. getting there? Where we all trying to get there? Trying to get there. So, Have you ever uh, done any skits? No. Do you think you would ever get into that lane? Maybe. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't close the door. No. I you see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's a lane that's open. So it, to you, just yeah, like it is to them. Yeah, but I'm just of a different mindset. I really ain't got time to do it. Not trying to make excuses, but that's and that's work. It is work. Say, that ain't no, it is work. Well, so I commend them guys for doing they that. You got to keep that content going. Gonna act like we gonna be making love. You know we be telling. Go. The creativity. Oh, you can make a lot of money from it. You absolutely I'm right. Ain't nobody built on like Country Wayne built. He is the man, way, that man is he's a mastermind he, when it comes to building them skits. To give him that. All the major cities, we've got Dallas, LA, Atlanta, Houston. Man. The only thing I always, I've been saying lately is I wish he would do uh, Buddy and uh, when on his stand up, Buddy and Drip, mm -hmm. the people who they oh, see. Oh, the characters, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because you know, he, 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 no, he, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. 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 do what I do. He don't. He don't. He don't. He don't. Do my skits or whatever I do and go home because that's what they come to see. Exactly. It makes sense. Exactly. So Carlos, but Carlos, I seen Carlos do stand. I seen him do both. Yeah, but I know the skit thing. I seen him go up there with him, DC Young Fly, and Chico Bean. Oh, that's his and, little. And they all group. just yeah, they, they do just, they, they do what they do off each other, and they don't even do it like nobody else that you see. That's why I say everybody had their own lane. Eight to five South boys doing their thing. They doing their thing. But comedy has changed, I think, because Absolutely especially changed. since the internet era came in, people doing comedy a totally different way compared to the. The the um, traditional comedians. That, that goes with anything that we're doing in life now. Music has changed. Yeah. How it used to be. People playing actual instruments. Not okay. people actually singing, not using voice. So music everything is evolving to a whole different you got artificial intelligence now making music. You got all kind of everything's changing. Everything's gonna change. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.